So many people are confused about Kung Fu family terminology. I think it's time to set the record straight. Who's your Dai Si Hang? And every day, I practice martial arts. <laughs> I'm a kung fu genius. So today I'm going to talk about kung fu family terms, things like sifu, si hang, si gong, what those things mean, so you can make sure you're using them correctly. And if you're new to the Kung Fu Genius channel, please hit the subscribe button, and also don't forget to turn on notifications. By the way, the response to my first video about grandmasters was overwhelming. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. However, I do need to make an apology. Someone got a little salty about one of the frames that I used. The frame with Steven Seagal was supposed to say, come on, Jean LaBelle. But I accidentally wrote, come one, Jean LaBelle. Sorry. I just started learning video editing last week, which you guys can probably tell from watching my video, so I apologize. Anyway, so the dude who got really salty about that, there's my apology. Okay, so now let's get into Kung Fu family terms. First thing I gotta say is all of the terms are contextual. They're based on your relationship to the people in your Kung Fu family. There is no such rank as Si Gong. There's no such rank as Si Zhou. And Dai Si Hing is not a thing. Stop it! I'll talk about that in a moment. So there's a lot to go over. So I'm going to take and sip my Cuban espresso. And we're going to do this real fast. So Kung Fu family terms begin with the Sifu. The Sifu is the hub of the school. All familial relationships are based on your relationship to your Sifu. Now, before we get into the other terms, I need to address the fact that there are actually two Chinese terms for Sifu, and even some Chinese people get these confused occasionally. So in order to make it a little more straightforward in English, we write one without a dash and one with a dash, and I'll explain that. When we look at them side by side, you'll notice that the first character is the same. However, the second character in both of those terms is different. They're pronounced identically the same, which adds to the confusion. When we look at the first version, that second character, Fu, means something like expert or coach. And when we look at the one with the dash, the second character means paternal or father. So we use the version without a dash as a title for any expert in a blue collar trade like blacksmithing, a chef, taxi driver, and yes, of course, martial art. And the second one with the dash we use for your personal mentor in martial arts or blue collar trade. Your Sifu in your school goes by this term. So when we use the version for expert, we're using it as an honorific for a Sifu of another style or perhaps someone outside of your immediate Kung Fu family. And to use that term correctly, you should always use their surname. For example, Sifu Smith, if that person happens to be surnamed Smith. And if they're Chinese, you should put their surname before the title as in Leung Sifu. But for your own personal mentor, you would just use Sifu and not use their surname. So these rules keep it kind of simple. The one with the dash is for your own personal mentor. However, when you're using the title to respect somebody of another style or another lineage, you will add their name to it. So back to your immediate Kung Fu family. You are the Tou Dai of your Sifu. Tou Dai means direct disciple, but your Sifu would most likely not call you this. They would call you by your name or come up with some cheeky nickname. Now you would address any male seniors under your same Sifu in your school as Si Heng. And seniority in a Kung Fu school has nothing to do with biological age. It just has to do with when you join the school. So this means even if someone started one day before you and quit one week later, if you go on to do Wing Chun for another 20 years, that quitter is still your Siheng. Obviously, there's a lot of room for abuse in this system. And it must also be noted that Siheng does not mean assistant instructor. It literally just means someone who started before you. Thinking that Siheng means something like assistant instructor is a common mistake among Western Chinese martial art practitioners. More likely than not, the assistant instructors in your school are your Sihengs, but not all of your Sihengs are assistant instructors. So just like you have male seniors who started before you, you also have female seniors who started before you as well, and they are your Sijie. And you may have male students who started after you, and these would be your Sidai. Just as you have female students who started after you, and they would be your Simui. And by the way, some Hungarian Wing Chun people made up a term called Simei for some kind of senior, female, or something. This is a total made-up term. Don't use it. So just like many things Chinese, there are hierarchies within hierarchies. The first male student of your Sifu, you would address them as Dai Siheng. Now, before we go further, I have to address this thing as well. Dai Siheng is not some super Siheng title, which means like super assistant instructor. As I explained before, Siheng doesn't even mean assistant instructor. However, a lot of people think that Dai Siheng means some kind of like head assistant instructor. Dai Siheng literally just means you are the first student in your Sifu school, and that's what people in that school only would call you. The entire world is not obligated to call you Dai Siheng, so therefore don't use Dai Siheng on your Facebook page as your profile name. As a matter of fact, calling yourself Dai Siheng as a title is even more arrogant than calling yourself Sifu when you're not a Sifu, because it implies somehow you are the most senior Kung Fu brother of everyone everywhere. So just like you have a Dai Siheng, there would be a second male student who joined your Sifu school, which you would call Yi Siheng, and then the third one would be the Sam Siheng, and so on and so forth. And you also have this on the female side with Dai Si Jie, Yi Si Jie and Sam Si Jie. However, this is quickly becoming a lot less common. Many modern Kung Fu schools have lots of students, so it's hard to count them all by number. This was a lot more common in the old days when a Sifu would just adopt a handful of disciples. But if a Sifu has been teaching for 20 or 30 years, the very first couple students may not even still be actively participating. Therefore, this practice of numbering Si Hengs is a bit archaic. So just like you, of course, your Sifu also has a Sifu, and that person you would call Si Gong. To your Si Gong, you are the Tou Xun. And of course, your Si Gong has a Sifu as well, to which you would address as Si Zhou. However, some schools prefer the term Si Tai Gong, and this is just a matter of preference between the various schools. And many Wing Chun lineage 
lineages, you usually use the term Sijo. Of course, your Sifu may be married as well, and even if his wife does not do any martial arts, you would address her as Simo. And if your Sifu happens to be female, and she has a husband that does not do martial arts, well, you would address him as... Well, people are not 100% sure about this, but an acceptable term would be Sijo. Your Sigong may also be married, and you would address his wife as Sidhai. Sidhai normally knows all the gossip. Your Sijo may be married as well, and in Mandarin, they would call her Sinai. However, this is a total insult in Cantonese. Better you call her Sitai Paul. So just like you have seniors and juniors, your Sifu also has seniors and juniors as well. Any senior Kung Fu brother or sister to your Sifu, you would address as Siba. And any junior Kung Fu brother or sister to your Sifu, you would address as Sizuk. And this is regardless of whether they're male or female. These Kung Fu uncle terms are the same regardless of gender. And we can go one generation higher to your Sigong. You would address your Sigong seniors as Siba Gong. And you would address your Sigong juniors as Sizuk Gong. And we can go one generation higher than that. You would address your Sijo's seniors as Sibak Jo. And you would address your Sijo's juniors as Sizuk Jo. Now, the founder of a martial arts style is normally called Zhou Si. And if you take the two characters for Zhou Si and you reverse the order, you coincidentally get Si Zhou or the Sifu of your Sigong, and that's your useless Kung Fu trivia of the day. And that is the not-so-complicated Kung Fu family tree. By the way, if you check out my shirt, this is from 36 Styles. They have the best apparel for Kung Fu movie fans. This shirt here is Thick Long, classic Shaw Brothers legend. Most of you guys know him as T Long. He was actually a Wing Chun guy in real life. Go ahead and check out 36 Styles. They have tons of designs, tons of movies. Totally awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>